Hello, this is Kevin Reeve in 7RXE with an introduction to uh, high-speed multimedia mesh networks or uh, newly called broadband hamnet. You can learn more about uh, this at hsmm-mesh.org. Okay, what are we talking about? Well, hsmm-mesh stands for high-speed multimedia mesh network. It's really a, just a data network very similar to the one running in your house, your work, or your school that connects your computers, servers, and other computing devices together. It's just that we're making one for amateur radio use and it uses amateur radio frequencies. So what does it look like? Okay, Here's a diagram of a, uh, of a uh, mesh network and it's a network of nodes and each one of those little red uh, triangles represents a node on the network. Okay, And a node is basically a transceiver or, or radio. It receives data and it knows how to route it to the destination or to a nearby neighbor. And you can see with the little blue arrows there's multiple routes. Uh, each node on the network discovers other nodes that it can talk to. So once you turn a node on it'll go out there and it will see who can I, what other nodes are out there that I can talk to. And it does that automatically with the software that's uh, built into it. And a mesh network may have multiple routes to get data from one point to another. Let's take a look at that. For example, here we've got point A and point B and you can see the route. There's one way of getting the uh, traffic from point A to point B. You can see it uh, routes up to one node and then down through a couple more to, uh, to get to point B. You can see here's another possible route to get it from point A to point B. And uh, here's yet another one. So a mesh network may have uh, multiple routes and ways to get the data from uh, point A to point B. So a node on a mesh network um, not only originates uh, traffic, but it may also receive traffic and then just pass it on. Let's say you add a uh, additional node comes up on the mesh network. Once it's turned on, it will figure out uh, who it can talk to and it will then join and be part of the mesh. It's as simple as that. There's no configuration you have to do to know who to talk to it and what routes to take. Uh, once you bring up a, a mesh node, it uh, figures it all out itself. Okay, the key to the nodes is this little device right here and this is a uh, Linksys WRT54G series. It's a wireless access point. And uh, there's other hardware th the support in the works, but it's not quite available yet. But this is the device right now that you can use to, uh, to create a mesh node. Okay. Now, you're saying, well, that's a consumer device like I use in my house to do wireless access. And that's exactly right. And the key to that is, is that um, we are going to use the ham band of 13 centimeters. And if you look here on this chart, you can see that on the left hand side, there are channels, uh, channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, 4, 5, 6, are not only part 15 uh, channels, or in other words, devices that are um, for the consumer, like the consumer's wireless access points, but they fall, also fall under part 97 or ham radio. It's the 13 centimeter band in ham radio. So multimedia mesh networks for ham radio, they we use channel one, and that's the 2.412 uh, gigahertz channel. So you can see we are using ham radio frequencies. And this chart shows you some of the available frequencies available to ham radio operators in the 2.4 gigahertz band, as well as the 5 centimeter band, which is up in the 5 gigahertz, which you can also use uh, for amateur radio communications, including mesh networks. Okay, how do you create a node? In other words, how do you turn this uh, consumer Linksys wireless access point into a, a mesh node to use on amateur radio? Well, basically, you're going to go out to the website, hsmm-mesh.org. You're going to download the firmware. You're going to upload it into this device. You're going to add your call sign, and you're going to turn it on and put it on the air. It's about as simple as that. Okay. Now, one thing you need to know is that uh, you'll need to make sure you pick uh, the right Linksys device, and we'll talk about that in a second. Now, once you turn one of these into a mesh node, 
it changes the way this uh, device works. Uh, it will, the devices will now communicate with each other using the wireless antennas. So in other words, the traffic between nodes now travels over wireless. And if you want to connect up into that mesh node, the way you will need to do that is by using an Ethernet cable and plugging your laptop or server or other device you're going to add to the mesh network into the back on the LAN ports. Okay, So that's basically uh, how it all works. Well, what can you do with it? Well, you can basically create a data network where none other exists, or you could use it in place when a data network goes down, like uh, in an earthquake or, or uh, other uh, natural disaster. Okay? You can use it and put servers on it to create a file store so that people on the mesh network could access files or share files, or you could put web pages for them to be able to access information. Um, you can in do instant messaging or chat, video conferencing, you can do uh, voice over IP or VoIP phone services, and that's pretty easy to do with uh, uh, software that's available like Astra or FreeSwitch, which are uh, VoIP uh, uh, software to, to make your own phone system. You can put on uh, IP video cameras and make those available to anybody on the mesh network. And basically, you can do anything you can currently do on any data network. Now. One last thing to know is before you go shopping for these uh, little access points, they're readily available. You can find them on eBay. You can find them on people's shelves. Uh, you can find them at, on, uh, at uh, your local thrift shop, a Goodwill store. Um, but there's not. there are certain ones that will work for this and some that won't. So you want to make sure that you consult the hardware guide on highspeedmultimedia-mesh.org, hsmm-mesh.org, so that you know which ones uh, will work and so that you can spend your money wisely. Well, that's it in a nutshell. To learn more about uh, mesh networks in amateur radio, you can visit hsmm-mesh.org, and there's, uh, there's uh, instructions on how to to get involved and there's also forums where you can find lots of help and instructions. Well, 73, this is N7RXE.